Well, all right then. Here's the national anthem. <laughs> All right, so welcome to High School Baseball here on NetSN. I'm KO Kyle Owens alongside JT Jeremy Titsworth. We appreciate you uh, joining us here for this district matchup between the Mineola Yellow Jackets and the Harmony Eagles. This game is in Mineola tonight. We're at Yellow Jacket. Oh, can you uh, pop us up there, Jeremy? We're in at Yellow Jacket Field here in Mineola tonight for this district matchup, 13-3A baseball game. The Harmony Eagles, who are 11-5 and overall, are taking on the Mineola Yellow Jackets, who are 7-8. and eight. Mineola's 2-0 and oh in district. Okay. Harmony's 0-0. Oh oh. They haven't played a district game oh. yet. So uh, Mineola beat Mount Pleasant Chapel Hill twice to uh, go to 2-0. and oh. But excited for this matchup, Jeremy. Every time we see Harmony and Mineola, it's always a good baseball game. Took the words right out of my mouth. Exactly what I was going to lead with. Every time we come either here or Harmony's field, it's always a great matchup. Close game usually. Yeah. You know, you joked with some of the players earlier that have been around a while. Last time we had called a game here and they had the old hidden ball Dude, trick out there. that was there, so, so awesome. Well, um, let's go ahead and look at the visiting keys, Harmony. Let's look at their keys to the game. Harmony's keys to the game tonight, let Tuck cook. Tuck Simple. is pitching. Tucker Tittle is on the mound tonight for the Eagles. So let Tuck cook. Get on base early and often. You want to put the pressure on the Yellow Jackets uh, defensively. And they keep the errors to a minimum. When Harmony's good, it's when they don't commit errors. When they commit errors, it gets away from them. It's the mental mistakes and little things uh, just that make Harmony Harmony because you know as well as I do, they usually go pretty deep in, in postseason and just in their play in general. And, and usually it's they hurt themselves in a game versus the other team actually beating them. Well, let's look at Mineola's keys to the game. And Mineola's keys to the game tonight. Get off to a hot start. You got to jump on Tuck quick because once he gets in a rhythm, it's going to be hard. Solid defense. Don't hurt yourself. And good pitching. I agree. Which Pretty they've already got two district wins, so uh, they got something cooking. They got something cooking. Let's go ahead and pop up that score bug for me, Bubba. Yeah, now we're good to go. So we're getting ready for this uh, first pitch. Tilt down a little bit, Pops. All we're seeing is the hey, tilt down. Tilt down. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, can't. all we see is the pitcher. So, tilt down. There, there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, leading things off for the Harmony Eagles here tonight will be Boston Seahorn. Um, yeah, look at you go, Jeremy. And what? then you could even, if you wanted to, you could say, uh, you know, now batting. Now, now batting. batting. Is Number Boston five, Seahorn. Boston Look at there. Seahorn. That was good, Jacob. <laughs> it's a nice growl to it. I liked it. Uh, we didn't mention on the mound for Mineola, Ty Birch is pitching for the Yellow Jackets. First pitch here to Seahorn. Right back up the middle into center field, and it's going to be a leadoff single for Boston Seahorn. Well, that didn't take long, Jeremy. It did not, and I was trying to put Birch in the pitcher as soon as he hit it. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So... Seahorn leads things off with a single. It's going to bring up center fielder Will Young. Let's go quickly. Oh, you could. My bad, Bubba. Put that up. Yeah, do what you're doing. Number, yeah. And then you got to take it down during the. Yeah, I got you. Anyway, we're, we're figuring it out. It's Will Young coming up to bat defensively for Mineola. We'll get to that after this pitch if Will allows us. Seahorn at first. Maybe. <laughs> That's a ball. Ball one to Will Young. Defensively for the Yellow Jackets, you got Alley in left, Balu in center. 
Tyndall in right, McDowell at third, Hamlin at short, Haskin at second, rushing at first, Haskin behind the plate, and Birch on the mound. That one is no good. Ball two. Two and oh. Two balls, no strikes to Will Young. We were talking beforehand, Jeremy. This min, uh, mm, this Harmony team has there made some deep runs in the playoffs here recently. It seems in every sport, but they have a same core group that we've followed for the last four years now. Pickoff attempt to first is he's back. Um, but, yeah, man, but the I guess the, the it's this year that yes. they have to do it because yes. Seahorn, Will Young, Tuck, Riley, Braxton, Hayden, they're all seniors. That's literally seven, six of the nine in the lineup as Will swings and misses on that one. So if they're going to do it, it's got to do it this year. But this region, dude, we saw, May, we saw May Pearl last year that was really good yeah. in the playoffs. White Oak, obviously. Um, Gunner is always real good in this region. Just a tough region. 2-1 pitch. Fouled out of play towards the cars. 2-2. Two -two. At least it's not towards my car. No, I told Pops that he, <laughs> <laughs> he was brave uh, getting over there. You know, I really like uh, Harmony's uniforms, too, Jeremy. That's the old school. That's exactly what I'm thinking, like an old school look. Now, I do not like that we're both wearing white tonight. Don't like that. So you're saying somebody should have worn, like, a mini should have been the orange and gray that they have. Don't they still have those? Well, yes. But normally, yeah, so normally home team wears dark colors. Yeah. yeah. Well, 2-2. Two -two. Runner goes for second, and he's going to be in there as Seahorn. He uh, looked like he was stumbling a little bit as he was running, but he was able to get there with the stolen base, and it's now a full count to Will Young with now a runner in scoring position. Good speed on the bases, too, for Harmony. Well, you're stretching a little bit. I think he lost his footing as soon as he took oh. off. He <laughs> slipped a little bit. Well, that makes sense. Payoff pitch to Will Young. And that's hit towards second base. Fielded nicely at second on a couple of hops by Haskin. And he's going to toss over to first and get the fielder's choice out for out number one. But it does advance Seahorn over to third. So with one away in the inning, it'll bring up the opposing pitcher, Tucker Tittle. Now batting, or as I like to say, my boy Tuck. You know, uh, with all this confusion on the game mm -hmm. moving from Harmony to Mineola, I was in touch with Mr. Alfin, superintendent over at Harmony. Um, but before he could get back to me, Tuck DM'd me on Twitter and was like, hey, Game got moved to Mineola. I'm like, all right, bet. We'll be there. I'm about to say through the years, Tuck's usually been pretty quick about uh, responding. Wow. Speaking of Tuck, he flies it to center. Ballou catches it. Seahorn tags on third. Throws coming in, and it's too high. And Harmony strikes first on the sack fly by Tuck Tittle. And so that's an RBI for Tuck. It's out number two in the inning, but it brings in Seahorn. So it's one nothing Harmony. And, Jeremy, if we know anything about this uh, – this Harmony baseball team, especially when Tuck's on the mound, give him a run lead that sometimes is all he needs. Especially uh, the way uh, his confidence was exuding earlier. I won't mention anything because <laughs> I, I don't like to give any jinxes out. You know how I still feel about that. But uh, definitely the way he, he feels when he's on the mound and, and one run seems like an insurmountable lead, I guess you would say. So it's a big night here on NetSN, Jeremy. Yep. Um, not only do we have our game that's going on, uh -huh. but we have – other games going on in the net sn area we got four games live right now two baseball a softball and soccer how about that you know i haven't been to a soccer game since i was a kid you don't have to go you can watch um, <laughs> <on NetSN. laughs> you don't have to go you could just watch riley patterson up to bat now 1-0 count that's in there for strike one to the third baseman hey we got seven people watching right now jim it's not bad that's pretty good. It's more than we had last Tuesday. <laughs> that was also at noon at spring break. 1-1. One, one. Patterson hits it towards short. Nice backhand stop it short by Hamlin, but he's not going to be in time to get it over to first. Going to give that one a base hit. That was an excellent job by Hamlin over it short to backhand it and prevent it from going into the outfield, but he couldn't get the exchange cleanly to get Patterson. Not the fleetest of foot is Patterson, so Hamlin had some time, but it was so deep in the hole. No, and the way he had to slide on his knees in order to even try to make a play. I feel like then he had to try to hop up, but I think he lost his footing trying to get up, too, and that's yeah. kind of what played into it. Well, here comes Big Braxton to the plate. BB? Bra yeah, Braxton Baker with his J's on. <laughs> <laughs> He's so quiet here. I, I do not like this. I thought we were calling a basketball game. Shh. It's golf. <laughs> Braxton Baker steps into the plate. <laughs> 
first pitch to Brax is in the dirt. Nice stop behind the plate by Zach Haskin. Ball one. Ball one. Do got that nice base, though. <laughs> Think I'm trying to get sick, and yeah, it's, I'm not allowing it. My body fights it off. Oh, yeah. Is that how it is? <laughs> All right, then. Second pitch is a uh, ball. Two balls, no strikes. Pretty uh, big field here in Mineola. 325 down the lines, 375 to straight center. Power alley's probably around 350. At least. Two balls, two balls, no strikes. Brax swings on that one and skies it foul out of play. And it's strike one. He wanted to turn on that one. Yeah. Every bit of it. Well, that was a hitter's count, 2-0. I mean, 2-1 still a hitter's count, too. So it's true. He's still ahead. Coach Whitworth out there giving the signs. You know, Coach Whitworth mm, Coach Whitworth's been coaching for nine years. Really? And Coach Neighbors, who's the Mineola head coach, he's uh, been coaching for seven. You remember Coach Neighbors? used to be at Quitman. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Two balls and one strike. Two Brax. And a pickoff to first. Riley dives back in. Look, I ain't even been doing this as long as you, but we've seen a lot of coaches and a lot of players. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, uh, about a month back, I went to Harmony to uh, for signing day when yep. they had all four players sign, five players sign, and uh, saw Coach Ashley two one, fouled off into there the net. There you go. Saw Coach Ashley. Hadn't seen him in a long time. I asked him what he was doing. Said, "Where are you coaching at?" Because you remember he went to Kilgore. Yeah. And then uh, he said he's not coaching nowhere any now. He said he got out of it completely. <laughs> he said it's less stressful. <laughs> Probably need some time with the family. That's what I would say. Yeah. It takes up a lot of your time. Like, it may it not be baseball season, but in the offseason, you're still doing stuff. Yeah. Two balls and two strikes to Brax. Oh, swung on and missed. Strike three. Throw down to first. Completes it. And that is going to do it for the top half of the first inning. Harmony leads one nothing as we head to the bottom of the first here on NetSN. Welcome back here to Yellow Jacket Field in Mineola. Lots of running around that I've been doing. Had to had to get Pops to uh, fix the camera angle a little bit. Told I got you. I got you. Him zoom out a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had the line score, but I had the small one up. Yeah, yeah, It's good, though. So, so graphics line score. Yeah, yeah. So when we go to break, we do the big line score. And, we, and then when we come back, when they're ready, you know, we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, learning yeah, new yeah, equipment yeah. here, guys. Well, you know how to do this equipment. I I'm do. learning new equipment. So uh, I'm used to handwriting things. Now I'm uh, moving up in the world, you know. Um, got an update on Mineola softball. Yeah, they're up ten nothing. Woo. I think. Yes, Twelve nothing. So it's improved or gotten worse, depending on who you're. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I got my sunglasses on. I can't see. He said, like, "Hold up." Yep. Twelve. I ain't, I ain't taking these off though. I like this. So a good start. We were talking about Harmony, how they needed to, uh, you know, well, no, Mineola needed to get off to the hot start. Uh, Harmony scored first. Mineola, their key would be to, to strike back here early. Yeah, yeah but we, uh, we did mention with uh, the keys for Harmony is to get on base early and often. Yes. Which they did had a, uh, they had a couple good hits, though, and a couple good plays, but just uh, unable to bring more than just one run in. All right. Yeah. And it got eerily quiet again. That's that's good, Pops. <laughs> that looks a lot better. See what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Tucker Tittle on the mound. He's going up against Ty Birch, who steps in from the left side of the box for the Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Tuck, ball one. I like watching Tuck pitch. And he works fast. He does. <laughs> Remember? He's, he does. He, he doesn't waste any time in between. He's that's already why, ready to that's go. That's why again. I got to be ready. 1-0 <laughs> yeah. is swung on in. Missed. I thought I hit something. But I thought I already hit something too. Hey, if you're watching along on 
YouTube, let us know. Okay, there it is. Mavs fan 815. I think that's for our boy Brett. Okay. Okay. 1-1. <laughs> oh, that hits him in the noggin. That hit him in the head? Yeah, I think so. I can watch it back right here. This is like our replay feed, the YouTube feed. Is this Rob Van Dam? <laughs> what did he say? Brett said it sounds like a – yeah, it did hit him in the head. Brett said it sounds like a golf tournament. <laughs> it does. It's so quiet. I mean, that's literally what I was thinking while ago. I understand it's not going to be, you know, hectic, but, jeez, I feel it would be a now little more than this. Number 14, Zach Haskin. As you heard my boy Haystack there, Zach Haskin coming up to bat for, <laughs> for Mineola. <laughs> Haskin is the battery mate of Birch, who's on first. First pitch from Tuck. Paints the outside corner right there for strike one. Our umpire got a little delayed I, call. That's why I was hesitating and waiting a little bit till I saw it. I can't see nothing. Oh, now you're going to take the shades off. <laughs> well, the sun doesn't set now. <laughs> <laughs> no balls, one strike to Haskin. Tuck. Haskin bunts it down the first base side. And it's going to be fielded by Ryder at first. And Tuck, covering the bag, gets the out. So a 3-1 put out for out number one. It does advance Birch over to second, so Haskin did his job. Number two, and Braden, Braden Alley. Alley is coming up to bat now. Phenomenal athlete for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, we having a little, oh, there he is in the box. I was looking over at the dugout. I was, was like, a lot of looking at, man? Well, there was a lot of confusion over oh, okay. the dugout. Yeah, okay. So one away with a runner at second, a tying run at second place, second base. <laughs> said what I said, know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Big swing and a miss by Braden. Strike one. DJ McDowell is on deck for the Yellow Jackets. Mineola runner at second, as you see in the screen. 0 oh, 1. Drop. Strike two. Not bad. Got that outside corner. Painting like Picasso. Painting tuck. <laughs> Let Tuck cook. <laughs> oh, Chef out there. The chef Tittle on the mound. <laughs> The 0-2. Ooh, just outside. Ball one. Yeah, that uh, many of the softballs taking it to him over there on the softball field. I see that. You can listen to that game on KMU if you want to listen to the softball action. One ball, two strikes. Tuck checks the runner. Alley swing and a miss. Strike three. And that. Is out number two. So now that it's already broken, I can tell what we talked about pregame. We talked about Tuck throwing a perfect game. First battery hits him in the head on the third pitch. So there goes that. Well, all right then. <laughs> TJ McDowell stepping in, runner at second, two away. A one nothing lead for the Harmony Eagles, who are ranked 11th in the state. Breaking ball misses for ball one. Forgot his number was different. I put in 12. And that ain't 12. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Coach Neighbors, when he sent it to me, he had a 26 and a 32. And uh, the 26 is not DJ McDowell. We can change that in the break to 12. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One ball, no strikes. <laughs> I may just roll with it. And time is called. <laughs> we know his name. That's, That's all that matters. That is true. I know I got it sitting right here. Yeah. D. McDowell. One ball, no strikes. McDowell implementing the one batting glove strategy. Low. Ball two. Tuck not as uh, sharp tonight as we normally see him starting games. He's trying to get warmed up. Well, and well, and that's what we talked about. Many of those guys get off to a hot start because once Tuck gets in a rhythm, which we haven't seen him get in a rhythm yet where he's working fast and painting the corners, but once he gets in a rhythm, he's going to be really hard to beat. As uh, time is called again. I think that's a uh, purpose thing, trying to delay him a little bit. Like you talk about let him not get in a rhythm. Because, you know, these guys have seen Tuck for a few years now. <laughs> that one's fouled off into the net. Uh, my man Corey is watching on YouTube. He said, uh, it does sound clear, clear for sure. Yeah, <laughs> you can hear every. Uh, you can hear, listen, <laughs> listen. You hear a pin drop. <laughs> Two balls, one strike to DJ McDowell. So you got McDowell up in the plate. McDowell. 
duck comes at the pitch. <laughs> I thought that was a strike. Ball three. That would have been perfect. Man. Listen, I, I uh, last week when we sat up by the press box, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. Now that we're down by the field, I don't enjoy this as much. <laughs> I, I like being elevated away from it because you can't see a lot right here. You know what I mean? That's true, but. 3-1. During Foul those uh, windy days, as we learned, we Dude. pick up way more of the wind being up there. That w Last Tuesday was rough. What, 15, 20 mile an hour winds? At least. I mean, I know there's some wind tonight. You can see the flag out. And just a little. I mean, well. Uh, well, now it just stopped moving. <laughs> as so. soon as you said that, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had some big news coming out of Harmony today. We'll talk about that in a second. Full count. Ball four, so he loses McDowell. RVD. So Birch at second, McDowell at first, and it's going to bring up the shortstop, number one, Dalton Hamlin, two on and two out. So big news from uh, Harmony yesterday came through last night. You know Coach Jeremy Jenkins left yep. and went yes. down, down south. Yes. Um, the... New AD and head football coach is Brian Mock over yes. at Harmony. So congratulations, to Coach Mock. That's fouled off. From what I understand. I saw that because I know a guy that shared it. <laughs> Was his name Kyle Owens? Yeah. Okay. The. <laughs> <laughs> um, from what I understand, though, Miss Mock takes a bunch of pitchers for baseball. So I'm okay. not, I'm assuming that maybe here in the dugout. That's there a strike. But I don't know for sure. But anyway, congratulations to Coach Mock. I know he'll do a uh, fine job as the uh, Harmony AD head football coach. Going to have to rebuild a little bit, losing a lot of seniors. But a lot. But every sport's losing a lot. <laughs> because every one of these guys played every sport. Yep. 0-2, Tuck steps off. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. They played uh, football. Uh, Although most of them, some a lot of them, them did play basketball. basketball. Yeah, I was gonna say some of them did. But, but most of them just playing baseball. Yep. The 0-2. Swung on and missed strike three. Hamlin goes down swinging for the third and final out. Mineola strand. Nope. Yeah, Mineola strands two on the bags. We're headed to the second inning. It is one nothing harmony here on Net SN. Welcome back here to Yellow Jacket Field here in Mineola. It's a 1-0 Harmony lead in this 13-3A district game. Mineola 2-0 in district. Matter of fact, Jeremy, let's look at district standings, shall we? Let's do it, buddy. In district 13-3A, you have Mineola and Winsboro at the top at 2-0. Winsboro uh, beats... Winona twice. Okay. 25 to 1 and 21 to nothing. Um, that's some rough games there. In the middle, you got Mount Vernon and Quitman, who are 1 and 1 Harmony. First district game. Winona and Mount Pleasant. Chapel Hill 0 and 2. Gotcha. Rough, rough time in uh, Harmony. Or not Harmony. Winona. There you go. Hey, you can take down that batter graphic. <laughs> I was waiting for the first pitch. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? Do you, boo? I apologize. I'm gonna stay out your lane. I'm gonna stay out your lane. It's Hayden Johnson, Lathan Wilkerson, and Jake Ryder, the six, seven, eight do up for Harmony against Ty Birch in not in the circle, on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. And that one was in the dirt. I'm in softball mode. Are you? Yeah. Well <laughs> one close. One. That's in the dirt, ball two. Hey, make sure you tune in on Friday for a 
this same exact matchup, actually. Um, Friday will be in Harmony as uh, Harmony takes on Mineola. I like how the, this district does it. They play the same team twice in a week. 2-1. Swung on and missed by Hayden Johnson. Um, what do you think, Jeremy? You like playing the same team twice in a week? I don't know. Or I mean, would you want to play them once at the year, t uh, first of district, go through, and then play them again? I kind of like that a little bit better. I'm, I don't know if I... Mm, strike three. That one's in the dirt. Throw down to first to complete the out. And Birch has another punch out. That's his uh, second of the evening. And he's going to begin this inning the same way he ended the last one with I a K. I don't know if I appreciate that as much as you do, playing the now same team twice like that. Nine, well, I like it because you can't get hit with the same pitcher twice. Like, Tuck pitches tonight, he can't pitch Friday. That's so, true. But if you let it rotate through the season, then you may have to face him twice. So you, you're... You're risking facing the ace twice. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why. I, that's why I like just playing the same, getting it, getting both games done in the in the same week. Get I it over see, with. I could see that way. Swing. But at the same time, if I'm at the other side, I want my ace pitching. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> I did, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Tie ball too. Yeah, it's a, it's a, an interesting dynamic that they got to deal with. But I like it. I would prefer this than going through it. Some districts do it differently. 2-0. Mm. Wilkerson wanted that one, and that's a strike. Two balls, one strike. Anyway, I don't think I ever finished why we're in Mineola tonight. Uh, we joked about it. That's a called strike on the outside corner, strike two. Um, this morning, there was a huge power outage in the Upshur County area, and Harmony ISD was without power. Here's 2-2. Two -two. Um. Harmony was without power, so they dismissed school around 10 o'clock this morning. So then I called Mr. Alton, and I'm like, hey, dude, <laughs> we're supposed to be doing a game out there tonight. I know the baseball field's on the campus, so uh, how's that going to work? He goes, yeah, probably not going <laughs> to. How are you going to have lights there? <laughs> Excuse me. 3-2. Um, so we were talking, and uh, anyway, then later on I found out they were just swapping them. So they'll play in Mineola tonight. In harmony on Friday, as opposed to harmony tonight in Mineola. Friday. So, did they ever get the power fixed? You know, uh, that one's fouled off. I believe so. Um, I remember at work because it, it was a bigger, it was a bigger issue than obviously just the Ronesboro area. Yeah, like it was Upshur County, Marion County, Gregg County. I think was involved. Like it was a huge. I think there was repairs that they were doing. Oh, uh, okay. Here's payoff pitch. That's hit towards second. Going to be fielded by Preston Haskin at second base. Tossed to first. And the 4-3 put out for out number two. Number um, but I think they did get Rager. it fixed. And I think it was a – I think a power line had come down. And so they were repairing the line, which caused the power out. I don't know. It's fixed now, though. I think. I don't know for sure. I mean, we got people from Harmony. We should probably just ask them. I'm sure they can hear me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Two-way. Jake Ryder steps in. Ooh. Swung on and missed for strike one. All righty, 27, 28 pitches for Ty Birch. Yeah, I was a little late on that last one. It's all right. Mm, swung on and missed again, strike two. No balls, two strikes to Jake Ryder. The 0-2 from Birch. Ty tried to get Ryder going up the ladder. Ryder did not oblige. It's not a bad pitch. He swung through the other two, so why not? Right. And I'm a sucker for them high ones. I swung on it from here. <laughs> the one, two. That's popped up high in the infield. Second base, Haskin just on the edge of the outfield grass. And he'll squeeze it for a pop out. And that's the third out of the inning. So a one, two, three inning for Ty Birch and the Mineola Yellow Jackets. We're going to head to the bottom of the second. Man, Harmony still up one to zero.
And welcome back. Ballou. Matthew Ballou going to lead things off for the Yellow Jackets here. It's Ballou rushing and Tyndall do up for the Yellow Jackets against Tucker Tittle on the mound for the Harmony Eagles. Or as everybody in Harmony calls them, the Red Eagles. There you go. I went to the Blue Eagle School. That's low ball one. You went to the Blue Eagle School, but you cheer for the Green Eagles. Professionally. <laughs> Professionally. <laughs> Let me clarify that. Because <laughs> there's Green Eagles around here I don't care for. <laughs> one oh. Easy. Strike one. Jeremy, ain't nobody listening to us. That's true. There's a few people. There's, well, a, there's 11. We're fine. <laughs> allegedly. Let's throw that in there first. <laughs> one, one. That's hit right back up the middle, and that's the first base hit of the ball game for Mineola. And it comes from Matthew Ballou. And there goes the no hitter. Mm, mm, mm. Disappointed, Tuck. Now batting number 15. Brad I mean, he's shaking his head coming back to the mound, so he no, he was he heard you on that. He was too. not happy I mean, about it's quite it. A, he heard you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he was not happy about it after it was hit. It's gonna bring up Trey Rushing, the first baseman for Mineola. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I forgot the numbers. Yep. Yeah, he's supposed to be number 32, but he's number 15. Hey, is this? Um, uh -huh. I'm asking this like we're that many older people are listening to oh. us. Um, he might know. <laughs> is 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 Trey rushing related to Mercy rushing? Uh, I don't. I don't even know who. I don't know. Isn't Mercy uh, T.J. Moreland's grandma? Oh, oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about now. Yeah, jogging my memory there. Yeah, we got a meeting of the minds here on the mound. Literally, we did too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I, don't quote me on that. All right. Well, while we're waiting, oh, as soon as we do that, <laughs> all right. Just in case we forgot who the batter was. Just want to make sure we clarified that again. Except he's not number 32. He's number 15. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> First pitch from Tuck. In there for strike one. Jace Tyndall also uh, on deck. Is Tyndall uh, part of the Tyndall Electric family? Maybe. See, I'm making all these connections, dude. Probably are. <laughs> well, when you Connecting call, the dots. When you call games in Mineola for... 15 years. Well, that's not true. <laughs> the <laughs> 01, that's a pickoff to first. Um, You see a lot of generations come through, is that what you're saying? Well, not only that, but then you start connecting names to, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got 50 million Seahorns in harmony. That's true. And yep. Trembles. Yep. <laughs> All related. Yep. Small so got him missed by rushing. It's a large family over there. Maybe we do have many other people. Let me check the YouTube. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. No balls, two strikes to Trey Rushing. Tying outside, ball one. And if I'm uh, Matthew Ballou on first, I don't know if I'm testing Brax's arm. You know what I mean? You sure? Nah. Now, I would. I'm not sure how I mean, fleet-footed Ballou you, is. You running that Xavier Worthy speed? <laughs> no. That's hit. Oh, nice oppo hit by Trey rushing right into right field. Ballou's rounding second and headed towards third. Johnson fires it to third, and he's in there. And that could have been a double for my man rushing, but he slipped coming around the first base bag. So it's just going to be a single for Trey rushing, but back-to-back -back singles have the Yellow Jackets in business with runners on the corners and nobody out. They got something cooking. But they're supposed to let Tuck cook. That's true. <laughs> But we said that with them being 2-0 in district, they've got something cooking. Yeah. And, the, and with, here they go again, got and, something cooking. And the bats have been the strong suit for, for Mineola. If you look at their, uh, they beat Mount Pleasant Chapel Hill 12-9 and then beat them 11-6. Wow. And that's a bunt by Tyndall that's foul. So, with that being said, they've uh, been putting up some runs here in the first two games of district. Now, now, Mount Pleasant Chapel Hill, not the greatest of all teams, different than Harmony. Um, I, yes, I agree. But... That was a great opposite field hit by rushing to find that hole because uh, Ryder was having to cover first because of the runner on first, so there was a huge gap, and he just – now. I wonder if there's something with first over there because, you know, Seahorn slipped a little bit on first as yeah, well. Yeah, he did. 
It, it may be a little, maybe a little sweaty over there. Maybe we need the uh, something. The mopper, up there the mopper over there. The mopper. <laughs> <laughs> the perspiration out there in the field. <laughs> the <laughs> one. Tindo squares around and bunts it foul. My man uh, Baloo over here. I thought he was coming home. I thought we were gonna have a suicide squeeze going. I was getting a little excited. I mean, you want to go and run straight into BB? That's up to you. <laughs> I wouldn't advise <laughs> it, but that's up to you. It looked like a brick wall out there. She's a brick. Do, 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 do. House. <laughs> do, do, do. Mighty, mighty. No balls, two strikes. Runners on the corners for Mineola. Nobody out. Tuck, the 0-2. And that's fouled. Nice soft hands by Trey Neighbors, the head coach of the Mineola Jackets. Then he fires a rocket back in there to Tuck. I've, I've He's showing up them baseball skills. I've learned that I... Yeah? What have you learned? Um, I have a lot more freedom when we're doing YouTube. Okay. I get a little more wild. You know what I mean? Well, we keep it raining. Mm. As long as Brett don't get on to me, we're good. <laughs> the O2. Swung on and missed. Strike three. It's the third punch out of the night for Tuck. And that's a big one, Jeremy. Is That's the first out of the inning, but it now sets up a double play to get out of this jam. But Preston Haskin, the nine-hole hitter, is stepping into the box. You think they try a small ball with uh, Preston here? Try to bunt and get this run in? Still with one out, maybe. I could see that. 7-9-0, guys. 4-1-7-9-0. Yeah, Coach Neighbors like, I'm not doing that signal again. Here it is. 4-1-7-9-0. <laughs> he does square around, but misses it. Now we got a, we got a pickle deal. Throwback. Braxton back to Tuck. Or no, that's Patterson that tags him out. He's out. And Coach Neighbors is angry. What happened here? What are they saying? He went out of the baseline? They're saying he was oh blocking, blocking the baseline. Basically, and yeah. he couldn't run back through. Yeah, well, that's a that I mean it kinda, yeah. Yeah, he well well, if you want to we saw it, Jeremy. I mean we Riley did. Riley was standing in the baseline it without was. the ball. So, he, I mean, I kind of, uh, I kind of tend to agree with Coach Neighbors on that one. Um, that's out number two, though, but rushing did advance over to second and all that. Yes, sir. And it, I don't even know what the count was. No balls, one strike. It was a strike to Haskin. Yeah, because so, he tried to bunt it. So, yeah, Patterson was in the baseline. Yes. Without the ball. Yes. And that's what Coach Neighbors is arguing, and I have, I have to agree with that one. A one. That's low, and that hurts their uh, scoring opportunity that they had. They had a runner 90 feet away with one out, and now a runner still in scoring position. A base hit could still score rushing, but it was a lot easier when he was just 90 feet away. And time, you only had one out, and you were trying. Oh, it time called it. and not granted. Swung on and missed. Oh, runner's going for third. Brax fires it down. He is host, absolutely host. And Braxton Baker throws out Trey Rushing at third base to end the inning. So Preston Haskin will lead off the next inning. What about that, Jeremy? That was a wild and wacky end to that second inning. Well, I don't know. Who did you put for defense? Was that uh, you put somebody for defense? You, you put these keys in. Oh, it was for Mineola. But how about the defense there for Harmony, though? Truthfully, though. Yeah. I yeah. know there was a little bit of a shaky call there. Could have been uh, either way with it, but it went Harmony's way on that call. But uh, great defensive play there. Great defensive play. Coach Neighbors still giving uh, the umpires an earful. We're headed to the third. It's a one nothing Harmony lead here on NetSN.
I don't know what's going on with this board. It's very sensitive. I don't know. I didn't touch anything. <laughs> covered over it, and it still played it. We got 9-1-2 due up for uh, Harmony here. Trimble, Seahorn, and Young. But, Jeremy, let's uh, finish up that second inning. That was uh, – Mineola had an opportunity. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Yes. And Tuck struck out uh, Tyndall, but then – R Baloo got thrown out at third, and then rushing got thrown out at third. So not only did you have two on, nobody out, but both of your outs came at third base. And what's the cardinal rule, Jeremy? Don't get the third out at home or third. I was going to say don't get thrown out at third. Well, essentially there with your third out. I mean, this yeah, essentially, yeah. And uh, it's, it's going to be a tough pill for many of to swallow. And like we said, we already agree that. Oh, sorry. We already agree that Patterson was definitely in the baseline. But as that's fouled off. It is what it is, and, and that's the thing. The the call went Harmony's way, and they could have gone either way, truthfully, but that's just the way it went. Sometimes it's the way the cookie crumbles. It's true. And you gotta fight back from it. It's still just a one nothing game. It though. is. Two one. Fouled out of play. But I thought that was Mike carry to my car the way that one was looking. <laughs> but if if the score remains this, then we can look back on that second inning. Yeah, I agree. And B, that was the key point. 2-2 two -two from Birch. And Ollie fighting them off. And I was just about to say, in the f longer this game goes on, the larger that 1-0 lead is going to look because you had great opportunities, and now you're like, man, can I yeah. even get one run? Yeah, yeah. 2-2. Two -two. Trimble swings it, misses, but the ball gets away from Haskin. Trimble's going to trot down to first. He's going to be at first base. So a strikeout reaches first. Okay. Not often do we see that. Did you do the drop third strike on that one? I sure did. Nice, dude. I'm figuring it out. I saw the little button here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Boston Seahorn. Boston. From Boston. Now batting. Number five. Um, that's not a hit, though. Hey, Jacob, that's not a hit. Runner on first, nobody out. Top of the order. Top of the order for Harmony. Top of the order? Top of the order. Uh, one ball, no strikes to Boston. Boston singled, stole a base, came around to score. The only run of the game. Yeah. So far. So far. So far. One ball, no strikes. Trimble at first. Ooh. Now, I will say, because that one's inside for ball two, I will say. A mustard on that one. Well, not only that, but you see the movement at the end? I mm -hmm. thought it was going to hit my man, and then it cut back into the inside. Maybe a little two-seam action. Boston didn't even move. <laughs> no. He looked at it the whole time. <laughs> he must have seen the spin, the two seams. He oh, knew okay, it was going to, okay. you know what I mean? It was going to go away from him. <laughs> yeah, two balls, no strikes. Boston squares around to bunt, pulls back, throw down to first. Oh, they said strike. Yes, I heard him. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Jeez, <Jeremy>. <laughs> <laughs> scared the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> well, I like to jump down my chair. Yeah. Two balls, one strike. Pick off. E back. Hey there. And you know, it's getting a little chilly out here, Jim. You cold? I'm not cold, no. Oh, okay. I said it's getting a little chilly oh, okay. out here is what I said. I mean, you wear, you know, pants. You need a jacket, too? What, what is I going on in my car? <laughs> the Seahorn foul tips <laughs> in. <laughs> I mean, how sensitive is that? I mean, look at that. I told you, you're like anywhere near that button and it plays it. That's crazy, isn't it? It's not It's not all of them. I don't know, dude. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. Middle of the broadcast. How sensitive is that? <laughs> I told you, I got more freedom here. <laughs> Stop playing with Rody. Sorry. 2-2. Two, two. Boston stays alive. Fouls that one off. It's a fail ball. Actually, I think that's Mr. Offen with Coach Mock, new uh, head coach AD. Yeah, I see him. It is. <laughs> okay. Maybe I recognize him from the KO's post. Maybe we could get him over here to talk about uh, being the new AD head football coach of Harmony. That'd be good. That'd be an exclusive. There you go. 2-2. Two, two. Mm, in the dirt ball, three. Oops. Doing some uh, Big J journalism now? I do work for the... Top news station in East <laughs> Texas, so. <laughs> and you can argue that all you want. Numbers don't lie. I are, don't they, are they the oldest in East Texas? 70 years this year. Payoff pitch. 
Ball four to Boston Seahorn. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. I don't know where it missed, but it missed. Oh. That's what catcher is trying to ask right now. Like, uh, where was that located at again? So, Mineola shooting themselves in the foot, obviously, in the that second inning. Well, then, to begin this inning, a drop third strike. Let Trimble reach base. So, now, because of that, you got two on, nobody out, and Will Young coming up to bat. And you're about to get to the meat potatoes of the lineup. I'm about to say, you're getting some dangerous hitters right now. Yeah. Because Will can hit, too. We've seen him hit. I bet they play small ball. Told you. <laughs> Will I mean, Young punts it down. And Young's got some speed. A bad throw to first. And the first baseman gets knocked down. And they got all the, okay, Trey Rushing got knocked over. And Coach Neighbors now is coming out. So hold on. And we're going to have a discussion here. So what I'm trying to figure out, Jeremy, is that are they going to call interference over there on rushing? But they didn't. Not, I know, but I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking if that, because he got knocked down, yeah. if they're going to call interference on rushing, which is then going to make him out at first. But let's see what the umpires are doing. I guess they're going to. All right, I guess we're going to keep it how it is. So we're going to put a E1 on that one. I did not put an error on that one. You didn't? That was a no, no, no. I mean, I I hadn't pushed the. Button. Oh, um, I would put an error for that, and then Trimble came to score, right? Trimble yes. scored, and then Boston moved over to third, and Will's at second, right? Number three, Tucker Siddle. Yep, and Tuck's up to bat. So now it's two nothing harmony. And Tucker Tittle's coming up. He had a sack fly to uh, center field his first time. First pitch hits it to right field. Going back on his horse and backpedaling is Tyndall. He catches it near the track and tagging and coming in to score is Boston Seahorn. And the Harmony Eagles now lead 3-0. to zero. How about two sack flies by Tuck? Helping his own cause. Now batting we'll take number it. six, Riley Patterson. So now instead of one... Now you've got three. That's right. Good job, Tuck. And you got Will over at third with Riley up, who singled his last at bat. And Will's got great speed. Yeah. I do like his sliding glove. That's pretty cool, too. Mm hmm. Woo. Riley crushes that one. Foul. I <laughs> almost lost that in the darkness over there. Jeez. Go to the right man. a little bit, hit the uh, baseball scoreboard. <laughs> Goodness. Dude, that was that was something. That was a he turned on that sun gun, didn't he? Yeah, just got to straighten it out a little bit. Just a little bit. How we looking? We scrape, we scrape. Pops, uh, okay. pops struggling a little bit up there. Is he? Yeah, when the plays get going. Oh, oh one. Oh, that one misses high. That's all right though. It's all right. Friday. Uh, there will be no movement of the camera. No. It's going to stay it's exactly gonna stay where right it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wide angle of the field. Yep. I'm going to be by myself for that one. 1-1. One, one. Ooh, swung on a missed. Strike two. And even Sorry, if I'm buddy, not... I got to move. No, nah, I understand. But that just means you're moving means you're going to be here more. That's true. Right. So, that's so if okay. we have to pick up any other games, we can. Right. Hey, if you want your uh, team broadcast on NetSN, reach out to us. Yeah. One ball, two strike. Outside. We're equal... Uh, Equal broadcast opportunity. Opportunity. Opp opportuni opportunities. You know what I said. I'm going to be real disappointed if Conrad and Hutto don't come say hi to us. So we're over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know where they are. We're, we're rude of them. Yeah. 2 2. Oh, I got it. It's popped up. Foul territory. Trey Rushing gets it. And that's a huge out number two. Because now that's going to bring up Braxton Baker, who's still got a big stick, but now there's two outs. Braxton Baker. Man. That was beautiful. When I grow up, I'm going to be like Haystack Hayes over here. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I hear you at football. <laughs> I hear you at football for sure. I'm down there shooting red zone footage, and I hear, here come the Mediola Yellow Jackets. <laughs> <laughs> and I get random text. Brax skies that one to right center field. Oh, and it drops. Baloo and Tyndall converged on it, but it drops. 
and one run comes in. Jeremy, I don't even know what to do about that one. I can tell you what I just did. E8, six, nine. Well, I mean, I don't have a number to put right, it on. So who would you put it on? I'd put it on... Tyndall or Ballou, right field or center? Probably right field, because I thought he had a beat on it, but off his glove, so... Well, but Ballou dove under him. But at the same time, I mean, I don't know communication. Who to, I don't know who to put it on either, but I'm just going to give him an E. Put a slash on oh, that one. And, man, we got more slipping going on. Brax moves over to third. I'm telling you, the perspiration on the field is terrible. <laughs> I guess something, dude. That's <laughs> we. I haven't seen this many people. It's crazy, slip. isn't it? And they got you can see the metal, so they got and metal spikes. And it's not spikes. just one team. So you would you maybe like cleats or yeah. whatever, but it's not. It's, it's not. It's both. Speaking of cleats, hey Johnson got them fresh J's on. Golly, you need you some him and Brax. Yeah, I need I need the. Oh, that one got away from me. Ball two. So this inning has kind of gotten away from Mineola here, and it's well. Like we talked about, um, oh, that's right. On this K, that's also an error for the drop third strike. Um, three errors this inning alone for Mineola. Now it's a 3-0 count to Hayden Johnson, who will be playing uh, college baseball next year at, I don't remember. I, I do, rem I, I mean, I was with him on signing day, but there was five of them. I don't remember where everybody's going. So is that four total, right, on airs? Uh, yeah, I have three total. Okay, that's what I'm. I was missing an error. I think I didn't put it in for the. Oh, oh God. wow. Okay. Um, all right. That all was right. in the other batter's box that got moved over, but sure. You don't get to move those over? <laughs> no, not like that. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. In the dirt ball four, Hayden Johnson will trot down to first base with a two-out walk. So now you got runners on the corners for Lathan Wilkerson, the designated hitter. We're going to have a little meeting between nine, battery mates. Lathan Wilkerson. Oh, people, but, but, hmm? people walking in front of our camera over there, man. Uh, the final on that uh, softball game is 12 nothing, five innings, many all one. 12, nothing, and five innings. 12, nothing, 12, nothing, five innings. You know, I saw another famous person here tonight. Who? Coach Halen Hardy is here. A Mineola legend. He was uh, the head coach of the die ball softball team when Reigns played die ball in the state championship. I remember that. And he was at Adam and Allie's wedding. He watched actually that, uh, officiated Adam and Allie's wedding. Oh, okay. There you go. I watched that game from the stands. <laughs> COVID year. <laughs> One ball, no strikes. You were right out in front of me, though. I was. Uh-oh, uh, pick off to first. Oh, it goes through the glove of rushing, and Braxton's going to score. What an unfortunate turn of events for Mineola this inning, as that's going to be another error. And it brings in Braxton Baker, who reached on an error, and he scores on an error. And it's now 5 nothing harmony. Did you ever have that happen to you? You play baseball? What? Reach on the air and score on the air? Not, I'd be happy if I just reached base. <laughs> <laughs> One oh. I don't care if it's by by hook or crook, <laughs> as long as I get on base. That was, that's that, not a common thing. That's no, it's asking. not. It's not. But my biggest thing was once I got on base, I was trouble. Yeah. It was just me getting on base. Running that, that, that 4-2-1, right? <laughs> that was mm, strike one. Um, no, I legit ran a 4-4, four four, though. Four four nine. Four. I mean, that's still moving. I'm I ran a four five flat, but four four nine is what I say. I say I ran a four four. Two one. Oh, bounces off the net. He can't find it. Hayden Johnson. He's gonna stay there at third, and it's a three one count. Birch already up to sixty pitches. Jeremy here in the uh, top half of the third inning. Not great. No, and in probably the last. Two, three batters have been quite a few wild pitches, I guess you would say. Coach Neighbors calling time. And Coach Neighbors is going to go out and talk to his pitcher. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back. It's 5 nothing Harmony here on NetSN.
All right, we're back after the lengthy meeting. They gave him a little more time than normal on that one. Three, Just a little bit. Three one count to Lathan Wilkerson in the dirt. Ball four. So, so uh, Jeremy, listen to this. Yes, sir. There have been no hits in this inning for Harmony. Yes, sir. And they've scored four runs. And this is the ninth batter of the inning. Yes, sir. We have a strikeout, drop third strike error, a walk, an error, sack fly, pop out, error, walk, walk. Manufacturing runs any way you can. That's I mean, what you call that. Jake Ryder, ninth batter of the inning. Takes high ball one. One ball and no strikes now to Jake Ryder. What's up, Conrad? We got a visitor. One ball, no strikes. Mm. Swung on a missed for strike one. Heard y'all had a 12-0 game over there, man. Yeah, how'd that game go, Conrad? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who won, Mineola? Okay, all right. Good job, Lady Jackets. One ball, one strike. Oh, Ryder ropes that one to left field, coming on and making the catch is Alley in left. Should have known Braden Alley out there. He ain't going to let that one drop. No. So that inning finally ends, but after the top half of the third, it's now 5 nothing Eagles as we head to the bottom of the third. You're listening to Baseball on NetSN. Okay, welcome back. So, bottom of the third inning is going to begin the same way the bottom of the second ended with Preston Haskin up to bat. 9-1-2 do up for Mineola. Haskin, Birch, and Haskin. Preston, Ty, and Zach. First pitch from Tuck. Low and inside, ball one. Tuck's a little cold now. I've been sitting over there a little while. So, listen to this, Jeremy. What you got? What happened? Four runs, no hits, four errors, two left on. <laughs> no hits last inning, and Harmony scored Yeesh. four runs. That is insane. Now, I don't know how much, how often that happens. I mean, we talked about mental mistakes for Harmony, but, man, that was a tough one for Mineola on that one. <laughs> yeah, it was a rough inning. And now that 1-0 lead that already looked insurmountable with Tuck on the mound is now, oh, oops, is now even worse with a 5-0 lead. Two balls, no strikes to Haskin. Technically, his first at bat. He was up last inning when all the chaos started, and he was at the plate when uh, <sighs> rushing got thrown out at third. Three balls, no strikes. There it is. Jeremy, you still uh, what you got? You still don't swing at three zero pitches? Me? Yeah. Oh, I always swung at them. Oh, <laughs> is it me that says <laughs> that's <wait>? you? Oh. <laughs> three one. Uh, ball four. So a leadoff walk. Man. I told you Tuck got a little cold over there, man. I mean, four. Got to get it warming up. Four straight balls. Well, three balls and then piped one right down the middle. But he thought the one right down the middle would get his uh, breaking pitches working again. But so Ty Burch. Warm that arm. <laughs> Ty Burch. Number five. Hi, Burch. Coming up to bat now. And 
Hey, let me let me see something because I loaded something in here. Yeah. Okay. I got an idea next time we. I got yeah, it. Yeah, I just accidentally clicked on that as I was about to say, hey, look what I found. Look what I found. Ball one. Birch was hit by a pitch and stranded at second back in the first inning. One ball and no strikes to tie. Tuck. Mm. A little golf swing there by Birch. I do want to see something later on, though, like would it calculate hits? You know, as in when I pull up a batter, if a batter's had a hit, do you see what I'm saying? Mm. How we'll can to, we get it to calculate that? We'll have to find somebody that's got a hit and try that out next time. 1-1. One, one. Ooh, swing and a miss. Strike two. Yeah, how would it calculate? Well, because – Oh, do you do many a hit? Yeah, I do. Oh, I, okay. And see, you figured it would put a hit it, up there. It, yeah. But I wonder if it's – because I don't think it did earlier. But mm. we'll have to see. We'll see. One ball, two strikes. Ooh, breaking ball. Swung on and missed by Ty Birch for another punch out for Tucker Tittle. Nasty. And that's out number okay. one. And number that is 13. the – Fourth punch out of the night for Tuck. And he'll bring up the catcher, Zach Haskin. He bunted and uh, was thrown out on a 3-1 put out his last time up to bat. First pitch. Fouled back to the net for strike one. I will say, even though this net has quite a bit of give, yeah. I'm not nervous. No. I'm not nervous. Well, that's why I also asked him earlier. I said, how much you trust those uh, zip ties yeah, that, right there? Yeah, that, that looks. He said that, he trusted them, though. Well, so, I mean, that's, that's out of my hands on that one. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't trust that. <laughs> oh, one. Oh, nice Gosh. breaking pitch on the outside corner. Tuck starting to fill it a little bit. I think we'll start seeing Tuck speed the speed the game up now. Once Such he starts a getting pitch, a little bit. Man, I don't know. It looked like a little slider, maybe backdoor slider. The O2. Runner goes. That's hit towards second. Going to be fielded cleanly at second base by Ollie Trimble and thrown over to first for the second out of the inning. It does advance Preston Haskin over to second base, though. Now batting number two, Brandon Alley. Alley struck out swinging his first time up to bat against Tuck. And he's going to be up now with a runner on second and two away. Bottom of the third inning, Mineola down by five to the 11th-ranked Harmony Eagles. They're cracking that out just outside that top ten, Jeremy. They're right there. Wait till I tell you who's in this top ten. Okay. It's outside. It's ball one. I'm sure it's teams we've probably seen plenty of years in the uh, <laughs> deep postseason runs. Uh, yep. <laughs> it is. It's teams that you Not are very, shocked. that you are very familiar with, actually. Not shocked at all. Pick off to second. He got him. A pick off wow. is second, and Tuck gets him. Wow. You don't often see that, Jeremy. No. A pick off of second. Let's watch the replay <laughs> that we can watch because it's delayed. Nice. Nice. Got him, uh, got him hanging out there for out number three. So that's going to do it for the third inning. We're through three. Harmony up five to zero on Mineola, and we'll be right back. You're listening to High School Baseball on NetSN. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
top of the fourth. A 5 nothing lead for the Harmony Eagles. My man Corey, that's how he says Harmony, the Harmony Eagles. Harmony. Ollie Trimble going to lead things off here for Harmony. Same one that led off the last inning. Speaking of Harmony, you like Harmony? The actual vegetable Harmony? I don't know. I've never had it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> That's a strike on the inside corner. I wish you could have seen the face. I, I mean, you saw it, but I wish people could see the face I gave you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's why I laughed so much. <laughs> a one. That's low. Ball one. That was the epitome of deer in the headlights right there. Like, <laughs> what? Uh, where did that come from? <laughs> okay. A one, one. That's a little blooper into shallow right field. Coming on is Jace Tyndall. And he gets the out. So a fly out to right field for out number one. And top of the order. Now batting, top of the number five, Boston, Boston. Seymour. So it does not calculate hits because nope. he has a hit. That's what I'm saying. There, there's got to be a formula you have to put in in order for it to calculate. You know, like you do on like Excel sheets where it automatically yeah. adds stuff. Yeah. So Boston has been on base twice, and he scored twice in his two at bats. A walk in, a single, and he first pitch swinging fires that one off foul for strike one. Yeah, I think in this uh, in between next batter, I think in between oh. the next two innings, I'm or this next inning, I'm gonna go grab my jacket. I'll yeah. give him my keys too. All right, baby, you run faster than me. You know well. that full four speed. <laughs> the one, <laughs> it's high ball one. Oh, now we've got greatness in the house. Now greatness. we've got greatness. Coach Brent Hutto's in the house. Greatness. Hey. He's trying to ignore me. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice hit by Boston up the middle into center field. It's going to roll to the wall, and Boston's got speed. He rounds first. He's rounding second, headed for third. Throw comes in. He's going to have a stand-up triple for Boston Seahorn. Goodness. You could tell when he was rounding second, he finally got that third gear going, man, and he was whew. Well, Baloo out there in center slipped. Otherwise, he got to the wall. There's something going on. Everybody's slipping tonight. Everywhere on this field. They're not tripping. They're slipping. Yeah. Everywhere on this field. Will Young coming up. He reached. No, he was out on a fielder's choice earlier in the first inning. Then he reached on an error in the third and came around to score. So a runner at third with one away. First pitch is low. Ball one. You all right? What's up, coach? How you doing? <laughs> One ball and no strikes. That's high ball two. Two and up. What we got going on here? Oh, we got 13 now, Jeremy. 13? Oh, I was going to tell you the rankings. That's oh. what we were getting to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got thrown off. Uh, 2 0. <laughs> well, that gum it, Will. That's hit towards right field in the front of Jace Tyndall. <laughs> and that's an RBI single for Will Young. And it's now a 6 nothing lead for Harmony. That gum it, Will. Come on, Will. Don't you know I got something to say? Don't you know? So that's uh, three runs scored by Boston. Boston. That's Boston. Here comes Tuck. Now, he will not get another sacrifice fly here. Physically impossible to get a sacrifice fly. Uh, I mean, we've seen no. <laughs> <laughs> So one out, but in his two at-bats, he has two RBIs, two sack flies, one to center and one to right. So if I'm a betting man, he's going to hit it to the left, which will then advance Will to second. That's my call. That That's your bet? Well, we don't bet on high school sports, Jeremy. But that's my... I did not say for money games. <laughs> that's <laughs> for money games. Pick off to first, Will. And he's in there, a stolen base on the pickoff attempt. That is, uh, that's impressive, Jerry. That's some speed. I'd that, say that may be some Xavier Worthy speed. I don't think that was 4 2 1, <laughs> but that was pretty quick. I mean, from base to base, that was pretty quick. One ball, two strike. Now, Tuck's getting a little closer where you can get that sack fly again. <laughs> One ball, no strikes. I said there may be earlier, and you joked. You laughed. I laugh at everything, Jeremy. This is true. Well, I do too. That's not true. That's not true. If I'm not in a good mood, that's not true. No. I'm having a rough I'm serious. day. Serious. a rough day. <laughs> Tuck's at the plate. One ball, one strike. Birch. Ooh, Tuck rips it to short. Hamlin, the backhand stab. Throws to first. Low throw. Can't scoop it at first. Is rushing. And Will Young's going to come in to score. E6 on that one, Jeremy. 
low throw. Yes, it probably could have been scooped by rushing at first, but if it wasn't a low throw, now rushing didn't have to scoop six, it. Riley Patterson. So Tuck scoots over to second, and it's now a 7 nothing lead. What happened, Jeremy? It didn't calculate my – never mind. That's all right. Wait. Calculate your what? There it goes. Oh, okay. I got you. That way it goes on to the next batter. Gotcha, 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 it gotcha. didn't gotcha. calculate that for me. Riley Patterson, he's had a single, and he popped out to first his last time up. One away, and that one misses, and Tuck thought about going, but he did not. Was that a ball? Yep. Right. Yes. How many errors are you up to? I'm going to have to correct my counter here. One. Two, I know we had four in the one inning. Oh, so five. Okay. Yeah, I was up one too many because a while ago. Mm. Riley wanted to turn on that one. Probably a good thing he didn't. It's two and oh. Two balls, no strikes. So, Jeremy, if you're coaching neighbors here, yeah. how long do you leave Birch in here? Because it's not all his fault. I mean, no. like, that that should have been an out. Um, it's not all his fault. But how long do you keep him in here? He's already up to 79 pitches. I'd say just let him keep working, truthfully, at this point. I mean, it's a 7-0 game, and you've had a lot of mistakes in this game. And you got to play the same team on Friday. Yes. So, yeah, probably a good idea. I just let it keep rolling. 2-1. Get him as far as he can into the game before yes. you have to reach your bullpen. For you absolutely have to. Yeah. Uh, we can't like if he starts see. walking people, in, I mean, obviously. We he, can't see the bullpen from over here, but I don't I doubt anybody's warming up. They don't have a lot of kids on the roster. We got a bullpen camera? <laughs> no? Okay. We can't. Oh, Riley crushes that one to left center. Back to the wall. Oh, off the glove of Baloo at the wall. Tuck rounds third. He's coming in. Riley trucking for third, and he's in. RBI triple for Riley Patterson. What an effort by Baloo out there in center field. He was he had to get on his horse to go get that one, Jeremy. And, and he, I think if there was any bit of wind, that oh was yeah. gone. Yeah. But now look at the flag out there on the flagpole. 17, Completely Braxton limp. Baker. Nothing. Nothing out there. And BB's like, hold up. Let me try this real quick. Yeah. Riley almost hit it out. I mean, Baloo. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, Baloo got on his horse to even get to that ball. And it, I think he may have overran it because it looked like it hit off the bottom of his glove. Brax squaring around a bunt? That's Hold a, up. That Who made strike. that call? <laughs> coach, what are we doing? What are we doing here, Coach? <laughs> we got a big stick at the plate we're bunting with? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Brax has reached on an error, scored on an error, and then struck out his first at bat. Ball one. One, one. One, one, one. One, one, one. One now, one. Jeremy, I don't know what the rules are uh -huh. in this district. Remember, we talked with Rain Softball last week. It was uh, 15 after 3, 12 after 4, 10 after 5. I'm going to assume it's a 10 after 5 rule. In does, this. does that change for baseball versus softball? I think it's district by district. Oh, okay. I don't know if it changed in the sport, whether that I, changes. I, I, I don't. Or has a play in it, I guess you would say. I don't know. You know, we have a coach right behind us that would be excellent to ask this. Coach Hutto, we'd have to, we need to ask him how that works out. I think, because I get I th the whole district thing, but I, I think, just didn't. I think it's the district, and then and that's both for, sports. For both. Yeah, both sports abide by it. Ooh, inside ball four. That's a walk. Second time Brax will reach tonight, and here yeah, comes hey. Coach Neighbors, Number and I nine. think that may be Lisa. the end of the line Wilkerson. for Trey. No, Ty Birch. I'm saying there you go. Trey Neighbors is the coach. That's why I had Brax Trey on the mind. Twelve, Hayden Johnson. Oof. Oof. Yep, we're going to have a, I think. If he does, you want my keys? <laughs> I mean, because he's got to warm up a little bit, whoever the new pitcher is, right? If we have a, yeah, we're having a pitching change. I'm not sure who it is. But we do have a pitching change coming up. We'll tell you all about it when we get back. This is High School Baseball on NetSM.
All right, Jeremy. I'm a little out of breath. You a little out of breath? We had to. You all right, Bubba? I ran to the car to get our jackets because it was. They just got a little chilly. Got a little chilly. A little chill in the air. So, geez. And see, look, watch. Oh, 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 oh. Watch what happens, Jeremy. I hit this, right? And it plays that one every time. All right. One out. New pitcher is Preston Haskin. There you go. He went from second base. So Preston Haskin went from second to pitcher. There you go. The pitcher, Ty Birch, went from pitching to first. You didn't even touch nothing. I, I know. <laughs> it went to, went to first. And then Eddie Roman came off the bench and went into second base. There you go. That's so the rotations. Hayden Johnson's up. And we still have not had a pitch to Hayden Johnson. There we go. High and outside, ball one. So a strikeout in the first or in the second inning from Hayden Johnson, then a walk, and he was stranded at third in the third. Already three runs across. I still have not caught my breath. <sighs> <laughs> Easy. And that is ball two. I had to get heavy breaths out. Did you mute? I think uh, you muted. Oh. There you are. There it is. I had to get heavy breaths out so I, uh, without the microphone. No, I still heard you. Well, they didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that misses, and Brax is headed to second. 3-0. and oh. So we got Brax at second. Riley Patterson's at third. One out. Ollie Trimble flew out to begin this inning, and then Boston Seahorn with a triple. Will Young with an RBI single. Tuck reached on an error. An RBI triple by Riley Patterson, then a walk by Brax. That's what did Ty Birch in. 3-0. To strike, called on the outside. I'd have swung at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you got to lose, right? That's the point. 3-1. Hayden there rips is. that one into the gap. That's one run scores. Braxton's round in third. Rumble, big man, rumble. And Brax scores. Goodness gracious. <laughs> A two-run single for Hayden Johnson and Harmony. Takes a 10 nothing lead. Number nine, Lathan Man, I don't think I've seen BB move like that. <laughs> Even on the football field, I don't think he ran like that. I'm, I'm glad the big fella kept his feet. Goodness, especially since everybody's been slipping out here. Uh, yeah, right. And the later it gets, the more damp the air gets, you know what I mean? That's true. This is uh, Lathan Wilkerson up to bat, Jeremy. Number nine. Yeah, I got you. Deep. And he takes ball one. So, Jeremy, in the third, uh -huh. Harmony had nine batters come to the plate. Yes. This is the eighth batter of this inning coming to the plate. So, two back-to-back -back bad innings by Mineola. Lathan skies that one shallow, no, just right behind the bag at second base, where Hamlin squeezes it for out number two. That was definitely unintentional on that. Number 20, Jake, Jake Ryder. Ryder coming up to bat now. Jeremy, while you're on that, before you uh, take that batter off, can you pop out that line score that's next to the – yeah, that one. Just want to get a look at the runs inning by inning. One for Harmony in the first, none in the second, four in the third, five here in the fifth. Jake Ryder grounds that one to third. Nice scoop at third base by McDowell. Tosses over and gets the out for the third out of the inning, but damage has been done. Already done. Damage has been now 10 nothing harmony. We head to the bottom half of fourth inning here on NetSN.
Shout out to uh, Michelle Horn, who is listen er, watching on YouTube. She said that catcher looked down at third and was like, nope. <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to lie. If I saw BB rolling me like that, too, I, just saying. I ain't getting, that's Ray full head of steam. He was on second and was rolling like that. Why would you get in front of a, nope. a, a freight train? Yeah. Nope. That's just silly. Braden Alley going to lead things off here in the fourth. It's Ali McDowell and Hamlin do up for Mineola here in the bottom half of the fourth, down 10 nothing. And uh, if they don't score any more runs, Jeremy, they can say they're down to the final six outs. You know, I like to count outs. Ball you one. do. You do. It's the first time I've been able to do it this year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to think. It's only our second game. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think, but uh, no, we didn't do that at all on Tuesday. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we gloss over the fact that Cambry threw a no-hitter Tuesday. That is true. We Which, did do that, too. I don't know if that says more about her or us, that we're just so used to her doing Obviously it. We were just used to it, right? <laughs> In that commerce team, bless their hearts. The coach was awesome. Yeah. Team not so good. 2-0. Oh. They tried. That's a strike. They did try. They never gave up. No. But. I mean, how many times have we been to a game where the opposite team, if they're losing or something pretty big, we've seen them just not even care. Yeah. You can tell. 2-1. Ooh, swung on a miss by Braden Alley. Two balls and two strikes now. Tuck's only at 52 pitch. So, in comparison, Birch through the same time was at, what, 80-something? 80 87. Tuck's at 52. It's crazy, man. It's a different type of pitcher, though. Two balls, two strikes, and your defense is helping you out. Yes. Because, like I said, that's a lot of movement. Three and two. Because, like I said, it's not all. it wasn't all Birch's fault. No. Because, I mean, look, okay. But so, the amount of errors that were in the field, though, that's the crazy thing. So, you like. have five errors, ten runs. I would say... Six, at least six of those runs unearned. Yeah. Full count, payoff pitch. And Braden skies that one to right field. Under it is Hayden Johnson. He squeezes it for out number one. Now DJ McDowell. DJ McDowell. Jeremy, you know what my, number, my football number in high school was? I should know this by now. <laughs> I'll just look in the batter's box. 12. <laughs> you should have known Why that. Why did you pick 12, though? Uh, you want the honest truth? Yeah. Right, or was 12 just given to no, you? No, it was not given. It was a choice. I'll explain it. Okay. It's embarrassing. DJ McDowell, he walked in the first inning and was stranded at first. It's big swing and a miss. So, in high school, uh -huh. my, my freshman year, I wore number 60. I was a lineman. Well, yeah. A left guard, so I wore 60. Uh -huh. 01. In the dirt, ball one. Which makes no sense for, not, not to say anything about you, but I know. somebody your size. I was, out running, I was out running our running backs, and I'm a lineman. I mean. Anyway. So. All right. I'm not going to. Okay. There's something funky going on <laughs> with that. Um, anyway. Anyways. The. Uh. So then my sophomore year, wore number 52. Still a lineman, played linebacker on defense. So Ray Lewis wore 52. Got to. So my junior year, my coach finally said, oh, we're going to move you to receiver. So you got to get a new number. So okay, 1-1. One, one. No, you picked 1-2. <laughs> but that was 2-1, 21. Um, so anyway, I was dating a girl at the time. Uh -huh. Her favorite number was 12. Uh so as a uh, done with you, <laughs> done, I'm done. As a show of solidarity, get out of here. I uh, chose number get twelve. Get out of here. And we were together for maybe two games, and then we, we were broke stuck up. with twelve. Yep. So then I kept twelve my whole junior year. My senior year, I wanted to move to number three because three is my favorite number. Yeah. But I was told by coaches and recruiters, hey, don't change your number because then we got to look for somebody different on the film. So just keep your same number. So then you were stuck with 12. So I was stuck with 12 for my senior year as well. So I have no, like, real tie to number 12. Ooh, that was right down the pipe for strike three. A strikeout looking by Tucker Tittle for out number two. So I have no real tie to 12. I just wore 12 for two years in high school. So, And then when I got to college – didn't get to pick my number. Well, that's not true. When I got to college, they gave you a list of numbers that were available. But they weren't great. They were like all the bad numbers. 
But I would say that was that was pretty much what we had to do when I was in high school. They just gave us a certain number, to the, like range. This is what you have. Yeah. So, um, that's in high school they didn't let us, or they let us kind of as long as somebody didn't have your number you and just we had pick whatever. Yeah. Well, that was the other issue too, though. There's another kid on the team that wore number three, but he didn't play. I was like, I play. Let me wear three. But I didn't. I didn't Debo him for the number. I just kept twelve. Do you know what my uh, that swung on a missed? Do you know what my uh, number was in college? Eighty-four. Jeez, Jeremy, you don't pay attention to anything I tell you. <laughs> Eighty-three. <laughs> <laughs> was I not close there? Wes Welker. All right. Yeah. <laughs> one one. I was a slot receiver. Well. War number eighty-three. White guy. Hamlin fouls that one off. So anyway, the reason I chose eighty-three was because it was it was like eighty-eight was what. No, you can't be 88. Not no. in this slot. Um, they were just weird. So they didn't let you have low numbers? You could, but they like the good ones were taken. Oh, like okay. the ones left were like 17, 6. Eh. You know what I mean? 15, eh. which I know Mahomes wears it, but 1, 2. Oh, swung on and missed. Rex throws it down. And probably thankfully to everybody watching, ends this conversation. <laughs> and we are headed to the fifth inning. Three up, three down. Got the Yellow Jackets in the fourth. We're headed to the fifth. Ten nothing harmony on NetSN. So, for the third inning in a row, Ollie Trimble is going to lead things off for the Harmony Eagles. So, is this deja vu? All over again. This is deja vu? All over again. Third this time? This is deja vu. All over again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Billy Phillips tuned in on YouTube. He says, Harmony rolling. Yes, they are. Yes. Thank you, Billy, for tuning in. Easy with those buttons over there, Dude, man. I can't help it. <laughs> Ollie Trimble grounds it to third. Scooped up by McDowell. Tossed over to first for out. Number one in this okay. inning begins the exact same way the last Number inning ended with a 5-3 put out. Boston Seahorn. And, and it is uh, Boston Seahorn coming up to bat now for Harmony. Against the new pitcher on the mound, Dalton Hamlin. Dalton Hamlin now pitching. And Preston uh, Haskin moved out to short where Hamlin was. So new pitcher, Dalton Hamlin. And he's got one out here. Boston Seahorn fouls that one out of. Oh, that's a car. Oh, okay. And that's strike one. Boston's had a, a good game here. He's singled in the first inning, came around to score, walked in the third, came around to score, and tripled in the fourth, and also came around to score. So three runs scored here tonight for Boston Seahorn. 
Yeah, one. Mm, misses. Ball one. It's a good breaking pitch by Dalton Hamlin. So Dalton Hamlin pitching now in the on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. 1-1 one, one count. Boston hits that towards right field, and the good night for Seahorn continues. His fourth time on base tonight, third hit of the night. And he will have a one-out single. So the fourth hit or fourth time on base tonight for Boston, Jeremy. Two singles and a triple and a walk. Now he's come around to score every time. So Oh, my bad. I had turned you off. My yeah. bad. So what you're saying is there's a chance. There's a chance for Boston to score. Mm. <laughs> you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Will Young <laughs> steps in. He had an RBI single his last time up and came around to score. So if the score holds, uh -huh. Harmony's three outs away from winning. Boston goes for second, and he is in there. Stolen base, second stolen base of the evening for Boston Seahorn. And he's just getting himself in a scoring position so he could score more easily. That's what he's working on. Yeah, he's working on that four-run game. So if the score holds, Harmony will win. Uh -huh. um, in five innings, because yep. it's 10 after five. So okay. uh, we, if, forgot, we forgot to ask that earlier about if it's just by district and the sports are the same. So during the break, we were going to. Yeah, but we were We'll busy. figure it out. Yeah, well, it may not matter. The no. one <laughs> Ooh, a daddy hack by Will Young. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Did you try this, Propel? No, not yet. Pops. I mean, I've, I've had that one, but no, I haven't. Pop said he didn't like it. Really? Yeah. Orange raspberry? Yeah. That's a good flavor. I'm going to take it home. Don't leave me a couple. No. All right. <laughs> what? I guess I'll talk to old Haystack over here, see if he can get me another case of it, man. He's got a He's plethora of in it. your car. 1-1. One, one. That's high, ball two. So, Jeremy, we're 0-2 uh, with our game so far. We had a, what was it? What was the rain score? 12 0, 11 0, 13 0, something like that. I want to say 12. Well, I'm leaning that way. I don't know why, but. 2 1. Ooh, off the end of the bat, and McDowell can't hold on to it. Throws over to first, gets Will Young out. Almost an error. We're going to put a 5 3 put out, though. We're out number two. It could have been an error. And here comes Tuck. Tucker Tittle. Tucker Tittle stepping into the box. Two sacrifice flies for Tuck. Then he reached on an error his last at bat and came around to score. Seems like such a long time ago. Do you remember when this was a 1-0 game? Back in the second inning. Start of the third. And then it went. And that's the thing that, I mean, and again, here's my reasoning for liking playing the same team twice in a week. Swung on and missed. Because this is going to leave a sour taste in Mineola's mouth. And really, truthfully, Take away the errors, this is a close game. So I think Mineola can build off that. Coach Neighbors can build off that and say, you know what? Friday, when we get to see this team again on their turf, play a little better, play solid defense. I mm. think if it's a clean game, we're probably like, what, 4 nothing? Yeah, yeah, it's probably a 4-0 game, easily. Yeah. Five errors for Mineola tonight. It's a tough one. Four in one inning. <sighs> Can't have that at all. No, it's hard to win with those. The 0-2. It's high, ball one. And almost had another one right there. Yeah. McDowell almost didn't play it cleanly. I mean, it's, you know, Harmony's a really good baseball team. Yeah. 11th in the state. We'll get to the rankings in a second. We teased that two innings ago. We'll get to it. One, two. Was it two? I thought that was three innings I don't know, ago. dude. Ooh, called okay. strike three on the outside corner. And... Tuck not happy with that one. Right then. And, uh, okay, so if I hit it real soft, Jeremy, look. It doesn't do it. Anyway, we're headed to the bottom of the fifth. Harmony three outs away from winning their first district ball game. We'll be right back on NetSN.
Welcome back here, see coach. Welcome back here to uh, NetSN. Emily Hodges uh, has joined. <laughs> oh wait, what happened? Can you not hear me? Oh, can't hear you. Wait, wait. There we go. Uh, oh, wait. So Emily Hodges, softball player from Mineola. You know, she uh, moved to here from Fruitvale. We yes. saw her at Fruitvale quite a bit a while uh, back. She wanted me to give a she wanted me to give a shout out to uh, Zach Haskin. On the baseball team, she wanted me to give a shout out to him. So shout out to Zach. That yeah. ball's hit, and off the diving glove of Boston Seahorn. Uh oh, Seahorn may have got the oh, may have rolled up that wrist as he was diving. That did not look clean. Mm -mm. So Matthew Ballou could be on a uh, <laughs> Matthew Ballou is going to be on first base. Uh, you gonna give that a hit? Yeah, yeah, I'm giving that. It was a hit. it was a hard hit ball. I'm giving that one a hit. Now, Jeremy, if uh -huh. Mineola can get across a run, we got to play a whole nother inning. But if Harmony doesn't give up a run, this game's over. Okay. Okay. Jerry <laughs> <laughs> Rushing <laughs> steps in. Good to see him, though. Good to see him. We haven't seen him in a long time. I know we start seeing kids we hadn't seen in a long time. They're like, hey, what's up, guys? I know. I didn't. I, honestly, when she stepped up, I was like, why is there a softball player over here? What do we do? <laughs> and then I looked at her. I saw it was him. I'm like, oh, all right. We're, we're, we're good. I thought we had done said something and messed up, and we were getting uh, we we're getting in trouble for it. No, not us. We don't do that, do we? Well, I mean, not normally. Oh. And nope. after uh, well. two balls to begin it, we're going to have a. Oh, we just started dropping signal bad. Who did that? Mm. No? Signal good? Yeah. Mm. Ain't, ain't nothing changed. Mm. Oh, man. Jeremy Mont. You're what? Oh. Can't say it on air. <laughs> <laughs> I said we got freedom. We ain't got that much freedom. Oh, okay, okay. We ain't the rock. You know, we can't just go out here and say whatever we want. Oh, so he gets to say what it would, but we're handcuffed. Did you, uh, I see how it speak, is. Speaking of, speaking of The Rock, did yeah. you see his uh, rock concert Friday on SmackDown? I did. What'd you think? Yeah. You're not impressed? It reminded me of some old school days. He can't do Attitude Era rock. He has I, to PG I, it up. I get that. Well, hold up. Well. PG for rock is different than PG from everybody else. Okay. But my point, did you hear Cody's promo last night? Yes. Okay. So it's not just rock. I, Cody's I mean, allowed to cut some promos too. But my, my issue with the whole situation is. But I did see the warnings coming from everybody about keeping it PG due to obviously. They're about to be on Netflix. You don't have to keep it PG. Oh, man. Once they get on. Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. It's going to be Attitude Era 2.0. Can't wait. Um. Anyway, what I was going to say, though, is the. Uh, Cody's pro. Here's my issue with the whole. I think it's probably his best promo he's ever cut. I'll just go ahead and say that real quick. Agreed. Here's my issue with the whole, whole situation. Though. Yeah. They rock these past three Fridays. Uh huh. That's a track. These past three Fridays has dropped an Instagram video. Oh, the first one was about 22 minutes. Second one was about 12 minutes. This last one was about eight minutes. So he's he's and he is roasting Seth and Cody. I mean, roasting them. Three one, ball four. A walk by Tuck will put two on here in the fifth inning. And Jeremy, remember we were talking if Mineola scores a run, we got to play a whole nother inning. We do. And uh, we're over here talking about wrestling, and Mineola's like, "Hey, we try try to start a comeback. We're just entertaining them as they're they're playing baseball. That's what it is." So Jace Tindall coming up. But here's my point. So, uh huh. Rock's been out there cutting hard promos on everybody, right? On every kind of social media you can think right. of. Right. And then he gets into the ring. That's a strike. And then he gets into the ring and cuts another promo that just obliterates Seth and Cody. Yes. Seth more than Cody. Seth looks like a complete. Yeah. I know. I know. I know we're going with that. Anyways, go ahead. Fourth will. Yeah. Fifth will. Anyway. Um, throw down to first. Well, you know, the problem with that. Is everybody wants shield Seth back? But my point though is, if you're going to give Rock this much time, you have to give Cody everybody and else. Seth and yeah. Roman the ex the same opportunities, even if they don't take it. Because I'm going to say every one of them can all cook on a mic. Oh yeah, well, that was a nasty bad swing by Jason Tindall, but nasty. 
And that's his second strikeout of the evening. Now out number one, Harmony number two outs away Preston from Haskin. winning this ball game. So Preston Haskin coming up now. But yes, um, all four of them can cut on the mic. Yep. I would say Seth's promo that he did last week, not last night, but last week, was a good promo. Yeah. Cody's promo last night, one of the best I've ever seen him do. Yeah. And it was because it was real. It was it was it wasn't fake. It was real. Um. Ooh. And it wasn't him joking crying. around or well, crying and or just my, emotional. It's here's just, my issue with the crying. Yeah. You haven't won anything. No. Stop crying so much. You ain't won nothing. Once he wins it at Mania, I get it. Cry. Then all you want. Oh, waterworks. Come on. Ooh. Uh, uh, Preston's not going to hit it if he keeps stepping out of the box when he swings. No, and I mean that looked like uh, like one of your swings. Stop it! <laughs> it's like, like a cartoon <laughs> swing over there. <laughs> Come on, drill for oil or something. <laughs> no balls, two strikes. Yeah, that's strike three. Back to back K's for Tuck and Miniola down to their final out here in now the fifth Betty, inning. Number five. Anyway, five. I'm excited for Mania. Me I think too. they've. I think they've. You can build the house, right? Yeah. Okay. I think they've uh, built it up well enough where I'm excited for it. Yeah. Um, I just hope it's a good game. I, I just hope it's good. You know what I mean? So Should it's good. be. Should be. I'm excited for brother versus brother. You see Jimmy and Jay go at it last yeah. night with their promo battle? Strike one. Or ball one. That was an excellent uh, promo, too. And I, I, I I'm appreciate excited it. for that just because this has been one of their biggest That's what they want. Since they were kids. And Solo's a part of it. Their younger brother. Like, yeah. it's it's awesome. Now Rikishi needs to come back and be the special guest referee. Like, <laughs> Try to part ways between the brothers. Yeah, man, that'd be cool. Um, but I'm looking forward to Jimmy versus Jay. I'm looking forward to Cody Roman. I'm looking forward to the tag match on night one. But you know, I heard some other rumors too. There might be some other family on their way. I mean, they better the hurry the up. We're 18 days away. I ain't talking about for Mania, but oh, I'm just oh, about from afterwards. Yes. So I've heard a lot of uh, theories about afterwards how. Uh, like a bloodline civil war. Rock will have his own bloodline. Yep. Roman has yep. his own bloodline, and then they go at it for WrestleMania 41. Yep. Rock and Roman, which I could see happening, but you know, Rock, Rock's this isn't his only appearance. He's gonna he won't be around after Mania because he's gonna have to shoot a movie. But Obviously. he should he should be back by SummerSlam. Yeah. Or at least the next Saudi show, and uh, get things going for WrestleMania 41. Anyway. Back to baseball. Back to baseball. <laughs> we got enough wrestling talk here. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's come in and said, shut up with that wrestling. The wrestling. 2-1. Mm, swung on and missed strike two. Crazy stat in this game. Please. Tuck is just now at 81 pitches. He might be under the 85 threshold. Where he has to sit four days, so he then only have to sit three. Which is not a bad thing. Nope. I know Will pitches. Who else pitches on their team? Do you remember? Was it Riley? Boston pitches. I thought Riley pitched, too. Riley pitches. Ollie pitches. Swung on and missed. Speaking of pitching, three Ks to end the game. Okay. And that is it. I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, everybody's taking stuff off and going out. All right, so that's our final 10 nothing. Harmony defeats Mineola here in five innings. And, uh, Jeremy, what's your uh, final thoughts on this broadcast? Well, you, you talked about it. You touched on it a little bit earlier, but I feel like for Mineola, obviously the next game on Friday, they're going to come into it a little bit more prepared and want to eliminate some of those mistakes. I made five errors. You, it's hard to win a lot of games like that, especially four in one inning. Yeah, that's tough, I mean, dude. I think you could overcome five throughout a game if you kept it close, you know, if it wasn't big things. But that allowed probably six runs off of this. So it would be a 4 nothing game right now. And just unfortunate for Mineola to uh, to be those mental mistakes, I guess you would say. Yeah, I think it – I mean, I'm with you. I think that uh, – And it wasn't nothing crazy. It, it was, you know – Balls taking weird bounces. It was thrown to first or, you know, a, a drop in the outfield when there was no communication between your two outfielders. Yeah. I think Mineola will go back and look at that third and fourth inning, and that's where it really got away. Take away that third and fourth. It's one nothing game. And, I and, mean, that's true. And yeah. Mineola through the first two innings was playing harmony really tough. They were. And uh, just let it get away from them in those couple of innings. Good news. They'll get to uh, they'll another, get to try again on Friday. I was say another crack at them on Friday. All right. Well, that'll do it for us here. Shout out to Haystack. Haystack Hayes, Jacob Haystack Hayes, look him up. You need a uh, what? You, 
You need insurance? Go see my man. Ja you need internet? Go Internets. see my man Jacob at Peoples. That look free advertisement for Peoples. You're welcome. There you go. Um, give a shout out to our sponsor, Azalea Orthopedics, a division of uh, Ortho Lone Star. Um, shout out to Azalea for uh, sponsoring us. Shout out to uh, the people, the fine folks here in Mineola and uh, Harmony for the hospitality. Shout out to Pops on the camera back there. We appreciate him. Shout out to Brett Swinney, owner of NetSN. There you go. For JT, Jeremy Titsworth, I'm KO Kyle Lowens. Our next broadcast Friday in Harmony, Harmony and Mineola Baseball here on NetSN. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that other good stuff. We will talk. See, nope. see you on Friday. <laughs> <laughs>